welcome to electrical and control engineering uh, in this tutorial we will discuss the load flow analysis of a power system using power factory software we provide the optimization services to the designers and researchers to optimize their models especially in the field of electrical and control engineering so this is a um, uh, four bus system that we want to implement the load flow analysis in power factory software so this is the second bus and the two two transmission lines third bus this is a load and this is second transformer uh, 132 to 11 and this fourth bus and this second generator generation is all 11 kv side and the transmission is uh, on 132 side so here are the details of these uh, all the components a synchronous generator of 140 megawatt a transformer 125 mba a transmission line of 40 km uh, two transmission lines 4 ohm per kilo load uh, and a second transformer of 90 mva second generator of uh, 60 megawatt so click on new set 50 hours frequency uh, so set four buses to three and four buses uh, after that <coughs> here is, let's install the synchronous generator and the second generator at fourth bus these are 11 kv buses and uh, a transformer between bus 1 and 2 and two transmission lines between bus 2 and bus 3 at two parallel transmission lines a 132 kv again a transformer from bus 3 to bus 4 to step down 132 to 11 kv and a load of 100 megawatt so here are the setting of the generator so 100 megawatt 400 mba uh, 11 kv1 power factor uh, so 100 400 uh, mbr voltage control type new 125 11 kv1 power factor y star <coughs> neutral connector so these are the setting of the generator as per your requirement you can see 125 11 kv one power factor a bus one of 11 kv uh, select type new project 11 kv okay so the transformer setting will be put at end so second bus uh, this is also this 132 uh, this is after transformer uh, new project 132 kv and press okay <coughs> so uh, transfer transmission line setting this is uh, two transmission line 40 kilo uh, 40 km 400 ohm each so length will be of its uh, 40 km uh, and uh, set the type uh, of uh, this transmission line you can see from here and uh, click on this type new project line pi model so here are the details of this um, 132 kv 1 kilo ampere and then here is a 4 ohm per kilometer is the reactance of this transmission line okay so this is about the transmission line setting okay so the same uh, second transmission line 440 km and uh, the type is again uh, about click on type new uh, type by model again here we will uh, 132 kv will set and here we will see a 4 ohm per kilometer here 132 kv will because it's high transmission line okay so see all the settings okay so the third bus it's again 132 uh, kv bus is third bus so 132 and press a new project here again 132 and press okay so here fourth bus again here it's 11k because it's after transformer so type new project here 11k we rating and then press okay okay so second generator setting uh, so here uh, load flow uh, here is the rating of this uh, uh, 60 and 20 uh, megawatt and it should be a voltage control 
and uh, here type new project here 11 k uh, here it's 90 mba 11 kv one power factor and sorry and i one fair factor and uh, okay so low demand is 100 megawatt you can see and 30 megawatt so click on it the load is uh, 100 megawatt 30 megawatt and uh, here type uh, type will be a new project type general load so here is the type of what should be the connection of this uh, ok press ok so at the last we will uh, go to the setting of this transformer be careful about HV side and LT side here HV side is character and bus 3 and LV side is our uh, bus 4 so it should uh, new type and uh, MB of this 132 to 11 kV and LV side here it should be the reactance uh, per unit so the second is 0 0.1 to star grounded on both side 0 0.1 to and uh, press ok so here should be about HV and LV side otherwise you can flip the connection press ok so again this first transformer uh, you should be very careful about LV side and HV side uh, here HV side is connected to bus 2 should be connected to bus 2 and LV side should be connected to bus 1 you should I have flipped because it was previously wrong so HV LV side should be toward 1 and HV side should be toward 2 because in my bus system bus 1 is LV side 11 kV otherwise it will give an error select on so <coughs> load flow so here type new type then here again the mba of this 125 mba the hv side is 132 and lv side is 11 kv uh, y neutral connected reactance is 0 0.18 and uh, press ok and here you can see it's 0 0.18 so it's ok so before simulation please uh, be careful to save it otherwise if 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 it gave error then uh, you should have saved your model so simulate load so it's given an error let's open it again activate first the project uh, that was earlier created uh, select the project here that was our project and then okay then you have to activate the case study previously it was uh, due to an error the uh, load flow for factory was uh, close so again let's flow the um, load flow analysis so here is the output window this is the schematic window so 200 zoom and let's center it R. so let's uh, perform the load flow analysis and see the results here it's a load flow analysis execute so here you see the results if you want to generate the report of a grid summary or total complete summary bus bar flow so you can see here click on this output window all the results will be displayed here so this is all about load flow analysis thank you very much uh, for seeing this tutorial Keep watching our channel. Thank you very much.